And our first main topic today gets sent to us by Jake L. And Jake L. writes, Hey, John, I just saw the news that Ryan Gosling is in talks of reuniting with Derek. Now, I never pronounced Derek's last name right. See in France? I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, and if I am, forgive me. Uh, director of Place Beyond the Pines and Blue Valentine to make a modern take on The Wolfman. They say it's going to be similar to The Invisible Man that came out in 2018. I'm a big fan of The Place Beyond the Pines, and even though some people may think it bites off more than it can chew, I'm actually one of those people. Uh, I'm intrigued and curious to see how this movie will turn out. What are your thoughts on the news? Do you think they'll be able to modernize this classic from the 1940s? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, actually, the first thing you should know, Jake, is that this wasn't just announced. Ryan Gosling doing a Wolfman movie has actually kind of been on the books for a while. I mean, a good long while. And what's actually really interesting is that with this new director coming in, it's a new it's a director change. Because you mentioned The Invisible Man from 2018 with Elizabeth Moss. Was it already all the way back in 2018 or was it 2019? Anyway, um, I believe Lee Wanell was supposed to be writing the script and directing this Wolfman movie with Ryan Gosling, but then they made a bit of a shift. Then they made a change. And I think this change is good because this is a director that Ryan Gosling has worked with together very, very well. Anyway, take a look at this. This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who write, Ryan Gosling's Wolfman reboot will follow in the spiritual footsteps of Lee Whannell's 2020. That's what it was, 2020. I knew it wasn't 2018. Uh, 2020's hit The Invisible Man and previously had Whannell tapped as both the co-writer and director. That's not the case anymore, however, with Wolfman now being helmed by someone Gosling is quite familiar with. Derek C. in France is perhaps best known for his two collaborations with Gosling. 2010's Blue Valentine, which is awesome, by the way, which but we'll talk about that in a minute, which he earned, which earned Michelle Williams an Oscar nomination, and 2012's The Place Beyond the Pines. He's a storyteller who delves into personal traumas and situations that are indeed horrific, even if they don't count as horror and that comes to us again from the folks over at variety and yeah listen i actually had a chance to talk to derek like when i was at amc one of the very first interviews i got to do was with derek the director to talk about blue valentine and i had talked to him before i saw the movie so we just talked about it really i got to talk to him about it in theoreticals and stuff like that blue valentine is outstanding. It's an absolutely outstanding film. Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams in that are so freaking good. And you guys know I always say the number one job of the director is to get the best performance out of the actors as possible. And he did a fantastic job on that film with both Gosling and Michelle Williams. I was not, I'll be honest with you, I was not as big of a fan of A Place Beyond the Pines. Now, but a lot of my friends love it. Like a lot of people I know absolutely adore that film. Didn't quite work so well for me, and that's totally fine. But that Blue Valentine is great. Now, was I excited that Lee Whannell was probably the guy who directed, you know, the, the Invisible movie, was going to now come and do this with Ryan Gosling? Yes. But I also know that this director and Ryan Gosling have made magic together before. So bringing him in to do this, I think is pretty cool and i'm glad that there's finally some movement on this wolfman project again so i'm really happy about it and excited about it anyway the question is for you guys what do you think about this news that they're doing a director change on this wolfman movie but it's a director derek that has worked with ryan very successfully in the past do you think it would have been better if they stayed with one l do you think this is going to improve the film do you think we'll just have to wait and see are you even excited about this movie at all i kind of am whatever you guys think jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.